This is one of my favorite tricks because as wonderful as math is and as much as I honestly love math, uh, I'm not in the mood when I'm designing. I don't want to do math. And it turns out that Sketch can do math for you. So let me get my last icon in here. I'm going to head over to the icon mega pack, which is from LearnSketch.com. And I'm going to grab a little settings icon here, like these three gears. And I'm going to throw that in here, scale it, and put it over here. I'm going to put this into a group with this button so you guys can see how this is assembled. These are four groups with squares that have icons inside of them. And because they're grouped together, they're going to behave as solid objects, even though they're a combination of objects. But each one is separate from each other one, uh, which is kind of part of the point here. So I'm going to select all of these. And with all these selected, I'm going to go over to the inspector where it shows that the width of each of these is 207 pixels. Now you'll notice up here I have this gray box. And this gray box is much smaller than all of these are combined in their in their respective widths. So this is 436 pixels wide. These all put together are more than 436 pixels wide, which is why I might want to go in here and change it to 436. But if I do that, it's going to take each object and it's going to blow it up to be way too big because the difference between this and say Photoshop is that this is not the size of my selection. This is the size of each thing that I have selected. So I can't just type in 436. So you might be thinking, oh, well, that's a bummer. But I can type in 436 divided by 4, because there are four of them. And it's going to do the math for me automatically. This one got a little janky. Let me show you guys why. I'm going to hit undo. And I'm going to select each of these groups. When I created each one of these groups, if you look up in the inspector, you can see this little lock is locked between 207 and 207, which means as it scales, it's going to keep its proportions. The third one, same thing. The fourth one, however, I did not lock it. So I'm going to click on that lock now to keep the proportions. If you don't lock the proportions of an object, when you do this trick, it'll get all stretched out and get all wonky. So let's try that again. I'm going to select them all. I'm going to type 436 divided by 4 because I have four objects and boom, they are now all the right size. And if I start positioning these where they go, they're gonna snap right into place using my automatic alignment guides and they're exactly the right width. So no guesswork, it takes all the guesswork out of it. If I needed this box to be half as tall, I could go over here to height where it says 628, I could divide that by two. When I hit return, it is now exactly half the height that it was before. And now I can put these up here where they go. So if you guys like math but don't like doing math, you just like when math works out for you, then you are probably digging this because I know I dig it. And you don't have to reach for a calculator. So if you guys like this tutorial, please subscribe if you haven't already. I will have more cool stuff coming soon.